Hello everyone, my name is Bahadon. I'm here today to continue building Java graphic user interface. As you know, this is a continuation of our project in learning how to develop graphic user interface in Java. I already posted, I think, one or two tutorials uh, on how to uh, use JFrame. So this one is the continuation of that. So let us get started. So this is uh, this is how the graphic user interface will look like at the end. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to declare and use the following uh, J menu, J menu bar, which is in here, and also I'll show you how to uh, declare the J menu, which is in here, J menu class, and then I'll show you how to add an item in that file menu open file, which is the item J menu item class. And also I'll show you how to declare the, the label, please enter your name, and also how to declare the text field and accept the input and also display that uh, the input uh, string on, on here. So, and then also when you click the submit, it will put the string that you put here, if you enter here, uh, it will display here. So if I put my name here or Edmonton, uh, I click submit, it will say hello Mr. Edmonton, please select your options. So uh, all those buttons do different things. So if you click Google Chrome, it will open the application Google Chrome. If I click this, it will open, I'll call this application Google Chrome. I'm going to close it. So if you click this call manager one, it will do something, but this one is not uh, reacting to the event. And now I use three J panels. First panel has the, the following components. Please enter your name, which is the label one, and the text field and the button. The second J panel will have the following, these buttons, okay? And the third J panel accepts this component, which accepts the image of our city, Edmonton City. And as you see here, it looks a uh, real winter. This is snow and this is the downtown of Edmonton. So let us go back to the code and show you how how I did it. Close this one. And now let me recap for you. This is the classes we import. J uh, A W flow layout. And all those classes we need to implement or to use. And this is the class we, we need to import also Java X swing in order to use the J frame. As you see here, this is the, our class name GUI example 2 and GUI example 2 extends the JFrame. JFrame and then implements the action listener. Some people do differently. I do this in this way to do a quick. So I implement the JFrame to the action listener. Uh, the our class, the subclass of the JFrame. JFrame class implements the action listener, okay, because we need all those buttons to react to or to, to react to the event when we click. So now this is the first instance of the JFrame. JFrame has the instance F, new JFrame, and this is the declaration of all the uh, variables and all those uh, J label, label one and label two. And this is the please enter your name. And as you see here, let me read it for you. Uh, As you see here, this is the label. Please enter your name, and this is the label one. And this is the text field, as you see here. Text field accepts third characters, and that's the length. And this is the button one, uh, or submit button is in here. I declare here J button one. And the, the button is here, and that's the name of the button, okay? So when you click this button, it does something, right? So if I put my last name here, let me put up this one. It puts here, hello Mr. Bahadon, please select your option. So that's that's reacting to when we click, right? I'll show you how that code look like, okay? So let me minimize this one. Now I show you how to declare the J label and J text field and J, J button, okay? So now, 
let us go here and show you how to declare the J menu bar. So now the menu bar, this is the menu bar, okay? So you use that class, J menu bar, and then you create instance of that class, right? And this is the new J menu bar. Now we put that bar something on it, which is the file open source delete connect and call the supervisor. So we call J menu, J menu file, file the instance of the J menu, which is in here. And then this is the new J menu, and this is the name of our file, right? And the same thing open source delete connect or call supervisor, the same thing applies here, right? Now we have to add the, those menu, the one that the horizontal, the vertical menu or items, right? So we call this class J menu item class and we create instance of that class is equal to new J menu item, right? So now when we are here, we are done very much about the J menu bar. So remember that. When you are creating J menu bar, you need three items to declare, or the three things to, to declare. You need the bar, which is the J menu bar. The second one is the J menu file, or J menu class. And the third one is the J menu item. Okay, all those things has to be added on the panel, right? On the, on the J, uh, J panel, right? So now we go down. And now we come to the constructor, and this is where the thing is taking place, right? So this is the, as we saw before, this is the name of our frame, right? Application portal by, as you see here, this is the application portal by Baton, January, sorry, December, 27th, December 16, right? And now this is the size of our frame. And this is the layout we are using, set layout, flow layout, right? And this is the method we call to close the window. And this is the method we center the window, right? Excuse me. So J, I have three J panels. I'm declaring here the panel one, which is P, P2, and P3. So let's go back to the application here. The first panel has the following components label one text field and the button the second panel which is a p2 has the following one two three four five six six buttons right and i'm using the grid layout and the third panel accepts the image in here which i put the edmonton image i'll show you where i put that method and uh, this the label we use the image label. And now, as I said before, all those buttons and all those labels has to put on the panel, right? So P is the, our panel, first panel. We put the label one, which is in here. Please enter your name. And we put the text field, which is in here, right? And now we put the submit button, which is in here. So the first panel is in here. And I think this label tool is, does something else. Okay, so now we come to the panel uh, two. It accepts one, two, three, four, five, six. All those components. Button one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And what you see on the top of the label of the panel, as you see here, call Chrome, is in here. Button is in here. Call manager, send alert cast to all the stakeholders, okay? So that's what you see here. So now, this is the label. This is where I add. So image label is set to the image in here. Then this is the word the image store, the path. For my computer, right? You pass the, the path name, C colon, and then two slashes, and then uh, whatever comes after that. So now you add the panel three the image image label. Now all those menu bar items has to be added also to the menu in here. 
MB as you see here, MB is menu bar added the files and the files has to be added the same menu in here, the same thing. So now you have to set also, remember that you have to set the menu bar to the frame and this is the instance of the frame, right? Now everything has to be added on the frame, it's in here, F dot add P, P2, P3, we are adding here, panels are added. Right, let's work it that way. Now we have only two buttons that are doing the listen, right, or reacting to the event button one and the submit button, as you see here. This is our button one, and this is a submit. So, those two buttons, when you click, they do something, right? So, you have to add to the action listener here, action listener, and then you have to implement here action listener, action perform. So this is the event you pass into that parameter and then you come here, string action. And then you say e get action command and this is the methods already there. And now you check it. If action equals to Google Chrome, which is the label of that, do call this method. I, and this method I wrote in here, which just open is that Google Chrome. That's basically what it's doing here, right? So I call this class, I create the list of that class, and then I use this class and then this method to open the Google Chrome. Uh, the second one, if that's not the case, else if action equal to submit button, and then you create an in string, uh, sorry, string of this input type. The input is the type of string, and then you get the text, which is our name, the name of our text field. As you see here, this method is getting get text. And it converts to the label, and then you say L2, which is the label 2, set text, hello. And this is what we are getting back input. That's how you print the label. So now, and this is the main method, and then you call our class in here. So that's basically what I have to say about this GUI. And as you see here, I'm going to recap for you. So all those things are not working, are not connecting to anything. But in the next tutorial, I will come up with something to make those things uh, do something for us. Okay, so if you put here, this is only two buttons that's working. So that's it for now. See you next tutorial.